Kitchen. Today I'm going to be sharing with you a delicious recipe, super simple, super easy. It's sure to please not only your appetite, but your appetite of your children. Um, it's convenient. You can make it ahead, pop it in the fridge, reheat, eat as you go. I even like them cold. I'm talking about Thai pineapple meatballs. Today I'm going to be using ground turkey for this recipe, but you can use whatever protein that you have um, in your fridge, in your freezer, and I'm sure that you can find all these ingredients at the store right now because I know I have. So um, without further ado, I hope you enjoy this recipe and follow along. All right, so these are the ingredients that I'm gonna be using for these meatballs. I have light coconut milk. This is the brand I like because I can just pour it out of the spout. Um, some pineapple that I have diced up coconut flour, zucchini. If you have spinach, you could use chopped spinach, fresh spinach, you could use grated carrot. Um, you could do a combination of all of them. Really anything will work. Um, and I also have some cilantro. This is what I had in my pantry, ground coriander. Coriander is just the seed of the cilantro um, plant. And then I'm using coconut aminos. And then I have some olive oil spray. And then in this um, mixer stand I have 93% lean turkey and then I have 99% turkey all right so welcome back we're about to make these meatballs I'm telling you it's gonna be super simple and quick and um, one thing I want to say is that I have weighed out and measured all my ingredients and sometimes I play by ear like how much pineapple do I want in these um, Thai meatballs well I can eyeball things and adjust my measurements as I go, um, but some things are straightforward. So I have two pounds of turkey. One of them is 93% lean. One of them is 99% lean. That's done. I just scan the package, put it in as the put it into the recipe. Um, so with that, let's just start going ahead. Uh, let's just go ahead and start doing this. So um, I have shredded zucchini here. Um, sometimes you can do chopped fresh spinach and that's delicious too. So I have 375 grams. This actually started out with um, as 400 grams, but what I did was I put, I let it sit out on the counter, I salted it a little bit, and then I put it in um, some paper towels and I squeezed all the juice out of it. was going to be about 300 grams turned out to be 262 grams so I'm going to put um, a little bit more 300 and two 300 now listen I know there's people out there that think cilantro tastes like soap you could use fresh basil it's delicious um, I have just a little bit of basil left and I'm they didn't have it at the store so I'm going to save that for some basil lemon chicken. All right, just got another phone call. I did put my phone on do not disturb. I don't know why I'm still getting phone calls. All right, so I just added the coconut aminos, mixing that up. Um, I'm going to add about a I don't know. I don't know, I'm gonna add maybe a teaspoon of coriander. This is not working. I'm just gonna go like this. A little here, a little there. Not too much because maybe you won't like it. Mix that up. Now, notice I'm not using eggs in this recipe. So I don't want this to be super, super dry. Um, I was testing these out earlier and I added way too much of this, so I've cut it back. Um, but it does need a little bit of something to add some moisture. So I have this coconut milk. I have put it on the scale here, teared it out, and I want 75 grams. Okay, last thing um, we're going to add is a little bit of ginger. I didn't mention that before, but we're going to add a little bit of ginger. And I'm just going to put it over this bowl. Now listen, I don't want a ton of ginger because it goes a long way. And I find that people who add too much fresh ginger to recipes, it can really overpower um, a recipe. So like that is like all I want. Um, maybe, let's see, it's like 
a half teaspoon. That's good. All right, so I just wanna give you a close up of what this mixture looks like. You can see it's very well incorporated. Um, and so how I'm gonna portion everything out is I'm just gonna use one of these um, smaller like little ice cream scoops. A lot of people use these to make cookies. And I'm just gonna grab some of the mixture. I'm gonna put it, push it against the side of the bowl here. And then I'm gonna bring it over to my pan and I'm gonna plop it on there. And then with my finger, if there's a bunch sticking out, I'm just gonna push it together. Okay, so here are my trays of meatballs. And I'm actually gonna cook them in the broiler. And I have found if I do a quick little spray on top of them, they get a nice, um, you know, a, they brown nicely. So here we go. I'm putting them actually under the broiler, but one um, shelf lower than I would normally to brown something. So they're under the broiler on high, but on the little second rack. Okay, just for fun, I'm gonna show you what one of these looks like heated up as like a burger instead of um, meatballs. And I am cooking this, I found that cooking it on a lower heat, so I have it on like medium low, um, does the best job in terms of like not overcooking it too fast and giving it the right kind of brown. Okay, so the turkey burger, it kind of fell apart, but I tasted it, it was delicious. Okay, so these are out of the oven. I'll get a little bit of a close up here so you can see how good they look. Notice I ate four. <laughs> I did weigh them, so I'm gonna add that weight to the total cooked weight when I make the recipe. But what you wanna do is you wanna make sure that these cool completely before you try to get them off of um, this tin foil because I didn't add any eggs to this recipe, so it is a little bit crumbly. If I just tried to take one, it would fall apart. So let them cool completely, then get like a silicone spatula and plop them off when they're nice and cool and then you can weigh them and they're just so delicious. All right guys, here's the finished product. I have rice noodles here that I heated up with some basil, fresh basil and some green beans and my Thai meatballs. You can see the pineapple. They are delicious. I hope you give them a try.